Hi, this is Dr. Jansen, and it's fall now, so what we're going to be concentrating on is diet. And it's harvest time, and the name of my diet is the Jansen Harvest Diet. And what that means is that I want you to concentrate on finding foods that are whole foods. They have one ingredient. It's broccoli, or fish, or chicken, or eggs. And the number of ingredients in that food is one. There's one ingredient instead of 10 or 20 ingredients. So the number one rule for the harvest diet is uh, whole foods, one ingredient. So think of things that you would buy from a farmer. What is the farmer growing and what is he making himself? Uh, he's making eggs and or yogurt or uh, growing broccoli or he's got chickens. She's got chickens. You know, so that, that's uh, food that you could buy on a farm. So today I'm at a farm and later we're going to go to a grocery store because you probably don't have a farm next door. So uh, we're going to go to a grocery store and I'm going to show you how to pick out healthy food. So here we are in the grocery store. We're in the produce section. Look at the produce section of this store. Isn't this amazing? There's a lot of whole foods here. Uh, and of course the staple of a uh, whole food diet is going to be vegetables. So let's look at the different vegetables that we can uh, get here. So here they have vegetables that are cut up and prepared to substitute for pasta, for example. So here you have noodles. See it says noodle medley, noodle. You know, but it's, it's not pasta. It's actually made out of different vegetables. This is very nice. Uh, yellow zucchini, green zucchini, and uh, squash. There's other noodles. There's uh, another squash medley. Um, butternut squash. Butternut squash with cinnamon on it. That tastes good. Turnip. Uh, here's vegetable slaw, all chopped up. That's easy to cook. So anyway, so you get the idea that, uh, the, number one, I want you to pick whole foods. And then uh, the second thing I'd like you to do is concentrate on foods that are lower in calories. And I know there's a big argument that uh, fat doesn't, um, if you eat fat, you're, you don't produce insulin, so you can't put on body fat. But the truth is, is that eating foods high in calories do, don't help you lose weight. And the goal is to keep your weight down. And in America, we have a big problem with uh, people being overweight. So uh, uh, pick foods lower in calories. So let's look at let's look at green beans. Okay, so here a serving of green beans is 25 calories. So I know that for me to lose weight myself, I have to, I try to keep my calories at about 1,400 calories a day. So. I could eat this entire bag, and this is only 100 calories. So green beans are really great. And these are already, these are trimmed and washed. You know, open it up, cook it. So that's a really good food choice. And, um, and here, here's fruit already cut up. Uh, now fruit, fruit is higher in sugar. So a lot of people ask me, you know, hey, Dr. Jansen, can I eat fruit? So. Uh, I would say yes, eat fruit, uh, don't go crazy with the fruit, um, try to stay away from fruits that are higher in sugar, but uh, these fruits are all very e excellent fruits, these are uh, melons, uh, cantaloupe, uh, honeydew, water watermelon is very good, that's extremely low in calorie, berries, blueberries, so these are all very good and they're already trimmed and washed, so Definitely put this in your cart. This is really easy and tastes good. Okay, so here's, here's something. Uh, it's one ingredient, so it's a whole food, and 35 calories. So that's pretty low. But look, servings per container. Make sure you look at that too. Uh, there's only one serving in this container, so you have to eat the entire bag. <laughs> so the whole bag is only 35 calories. So this is a winner in the harvest diet. Tomatoes, very healthy. Sweet and delicious, but low in calorie. I would say grapes are very good because uh, they taste very sweet. 
but they have a lot of uh, skin on them, so you get so much fiber you really can't access the sugar in them. So grapes are healthy. And here's carrots already cut up, and these are great. To, you could add this to anything, like to soups or stews or salads. You know, just throw in some of these carrots. Uh, 35 calories if you eat a third of the bag, but you know you, that's a lot. You're not going to eat that much, but that's very low in calorie. Cucumbers. These are very delicious cucumbers. You know, it's five dollars for this, but um, you know, this is actually a lot of food. This is a whole food seafood, and what beats seafood as uh, you know for your protein? This is an excellent source of protein. This is very red because this is wild caught salmon. So this, I really like this a lot because it doesn't have any uh, chemicals in it. And um, salmon is extremely high in omega-3, uh, which is an essential fat. It's called linolenic acid. I always have to think again. Linolenic acid is uh, omega-3. And uh, your brain is made out of fat, and uh, this will supply the fat that it needs to build your brain. So that's important. <laughs> this is herring. Uh, herring is harvested because herring um, travel seasonally. So uh, it's sometimes herring season and it's not always herring, herring season. I think this is very good. This is tilapia and it's uh, vacuum uh, sealed. So this whole bag, I mean, this is a lot. It's really heavy it's, uh, and it's only $15. So, you know, you can get a lot of meals out of this. And, you know, I know some people are against tilapia because it's from China or whatever, but, you know, it's so difficult to eat a healthy diet. You know, I, I think you really have, you can't be too picky about it because people are like eating, you know, some expensive thing and, uh, and then they, after dinner, they're eating a, a bag of Oreos, you know, so, you know, I think th this is very good. It's easy to cook this and it's very, very affordable, so. You really can't beat something like this. This is good, this is shrimp. It's already been peeled, deveined. It has a tail on, but that's easy to take it off. And, you know, this, this is a lot of, this is two pounds of shrimp, you know, for $16. Uh, look at how many calories a serving of shrimp has. 50, 50 calories, can you believe it, you know? Wouldn't it be nice to make a pasta out of those noodles I showed you and have a serving of this uh, shrimp with it? I think that would be really delicious. Okay, now we're talking about meat. Now this is pork, and pork ribs are uh, a lot of fat, so they're actually very high in calories. So eat this rarely, because it's just so high in calories. Um, let's look at meat that's not high in calories. Uh, so I would recommend uh, meat like this. This is beef, and this looks very lean, you see? It's very lean beef. This, it doesn't show calories on food like this, but this is actually very low in calories. This is very good. This is uh, ground turkey. Uh, look, 99% lean, only 1% fat. So that's very good because this will be a lot of good quality protein, but it's gonna be very low in fat, which makes it, oh, here's the calories. <clears throat> so it's 120 calories. So that's low because if you look at the calories of a serving of pork ribs, it's gonna be, something like a thousand calories <laughs> you know so this is actually really low and that's four servings of this pretty heavy um, this pretty pretty good amount of meat you know so it's you know only a little over a hundred calories for a serving of uh, ground turkey so that's very good this is chicken these are chicken thighs so chicken thighs usually have a little bit more fat on them than chicken breast uh, this is with the skin taken off, so that, that makes it a lot better when you take the skin off because the skin is just, it, it's not good food and it's a lot of fat, so don't eat the chicken skin. Uh, they actually have the calories here. This is 110 calories a serving, so that's really low. And the chicken fat gives a little bit of flavor, so chicken breast can be quite flavorless. So, uh, and this is boneless too, it's been filleted. So this is really easy to cook. Look at how much chicken this is. This is really heavy. It's over two pounds of chicken, you know? So it's, and it's $11, 11, whatever. But, you know, that's very affordable and that, that's very good. That's on the Jansen plan. In the harvest diet, chicken breast. And this is thin sliced, so you can do lots of different things to cook this. This is good. Thin sliced chicken breast. 
uh, 120 calories, so that's very good. Good quality protein. You know, this has methionine in it, which is an essential amino acid. And if you start looking up what methionine does in your body, you know, you'll give up because I, I give up because it's just it does a thousand things in your body. So, like, soy does not have methionine in it. So, you know, meat or plant-based uh, meat um, is not as healthy as this. Where is plant-based meat? Where's the fake meat? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to beat up on this company. You know, everybody, life is difficult, so you make your own choices. But look at the ingredient list. Oh my gosh, you know, polygranate. Oh wait, I don't know, you can't even read these things. Peroxidine, hydrochloride. You know, do you wanna have peroxidine hydrochloride for dinner? You know, I don't think that's a good idea. And uh, look at the calories. Now these are two little hamburgers, they're pretty small. Probably when you cook them up, they might get smaller, I don't know. But the two, 450 calories per container, you know, two of these burgers is 450. And I was just showing you how everything else is, you know, 25% of the calories in, uh, you know, whole food meats with one ingredient. This has a lot of chemicals in it and, you know, I don't recommend eating this kind of food. It's not healthy. Yeah, let's beat up on everybody. So here's a different brand. Um, a lot of ingredients, you know, food starch, that's not healthy. 240. Oh wait, see, but times two, so it really should be 480. So this is 500 calories. 500 calories, you know? Wow, you know, like, you know, I'm trying to shoot for 1,200 calories a day. So the, all I would get is like, this is half of my day, pretty much, <laughs> just this. So this is just too many calories. Like I said, it doesn't have all the essential amino acids in it, because it's soy, there's soy products in it. And, and food starch, you know, that's not healthy, food starch. Soy, soy leg hemoglobin, I don't know, it doesn't sound good. That doesn't seem yeah, healthy. Really. This is not whole food. This is pork, but this is not whole. This is pork with, with sugar in it. So it's um, 260 calories per sausage. You know, but you're gonna eat two or three. So this is like, you know, this is like 700 calories just for three sausages. It's very, very high in calories. So this is not good, not good. No, don't eat any sausages. Now I'm gonna talk about what not to eat. So in the Janssen harvest diet, uh, bread is not on that diet. You can't harvest bread. There are no bread trees in nature. And uh, the reason why is because bread has a very high sugar content. It's a processed food. And I told you to not eat processed foods, to try to eat foods with only one ingredient in it. So, but if you look at any bread, you're gonna see that it has a, a lot of ingredients, like 10 ingredients in it. So it's processed. Your body has to unprocess that. So that's one strike against bread. The other strike is it's very high in, um, it's very high in sugar. It has a very high glycemic index, which is how you uh, burn sugar. And it also has a high glycemic load. Uh, and glycemic load, or the load over time uh, of sugar that's in your bloodstream is very high for bread. And then uh, number three problem with bread, uh, any, and with any grains in fact, is that um, grains have omega-6 fatty acid in them. And omega-6 fatty acids are very unhealthy for you. They deform cell walls and make your insulin receptors inaccessible. So you can't process uh, sugar in your bloodstream. So, so think about it, it's gonna give you a large sugar load and also the omega-6, the uh, fatty acid that's in bread, uh, will deform the cells so your cells can't even process sugar. So that's a double whammy working against you. So, and you need more sugar in your diet, like you need a hole in the head, because especially the American diet. Uh, and getting back to omega-6, uh, grains have been uh, genetically modified over time to have a higher and higher content of omega-6 or linoleic acid in them because uh, the omega-6 deforming the cell makes you carry a higher sugar load and all that sugar hits your brain and they call that comfort food because your brain is comforted with the euphoria of sugar because of omega-6. Uh, whole grain, you know, whole wheat. There's no such thing as whole, whole grain. 
you know, whole grain is like a pebble. You, you can't chew it, so it's not whole. Um, it's, it's just not true. Uh, you, but like I said, people are really, really love comfort food. <laughs> they love it. So you'll, you'll hear people, even doctors will tell you to eat whole grain. Uh, they've just sort of given up on anyone like trying to, you know, break the addiction of the uh, euphoria from sugar. Uh, they, they have no hope that the patient's going to quit um, eating this, this kind of food. So, uh, so they say, oh, eat whole grain, you know, maybe it's a little better than not whole grain. Uh, that's not true. And uh, they say, well, well, bread has uh, fiber in it. It doesn't have as much fiber as broccoli in it. It doesn't. It, maybe, the, maybe some have the same, so somewhat equal, but it, it's not better than vegetables in fiber. And it do, certainly doesn't have more nutrients in it. That, that's a pack of lies. The government has to force bread makers to put nutrients in bread. They, they have to put uh, uh, vitamins in bread. That it lacks nutrients, you know, and then adding nutrients. You know, you're just adding to the list of ingredients. You know, it's, it's a very processed bunch of chemicals. So, you know, why don't you skip the part where you're, you know, add, you know, eating a nutrient-deprived food, adding nutrients and lots of chemicals, you know, lots of processing that your body has to unprocess. Why don't you skip all that and just eat a nice serving of broccoli? It's got plenty of fiber and plenty of uh, nutrients and minerals and vitamins. It's very healthy for you. Nobody is addicted to broccoli. Nobody wakes up at midnight like, oh my gosh, there's a little bit of broccoli left in the fridge. Let me run down and get that broccoli. You know, no, they're not doing that. You know, no one's addicted to broccoli because you, you don't get a sugar load from broccoli. You know, come on, let's face it. People want to eat bread because it's a sugar load. You know, they want the euphoria that that sugar hit in the brain gives them. Uh, now we're in the pasta aisle. Um, pasta is also a processed grain. Um, you know, you got to get pasta out of your diet. I already showed you some vegetable pasta. It's noodles made out of zucchini and squash, you know, so they eat that. This is wheat. These are grains. Uh, these are very high in omega-6. And, you know, start as soon as possible. Please get the omega-6 out of your diet. It's a fat, a very unhealthy fat. Uh, it deforms the cell wall, omega-6. Get rid of it as soon as you can. I know it's addictive. You know, people are going to listen to this and say, <laughs> I'm not giving up spaghetti, but there's no spaghetti trees. You know, this is not on the harvest diet. This is processed food. This is Franken food. This is made in a factory. Uh, you know, this is processed stuff. It's not real food. You know, get this out of your diet. Do me a favor. Don't don't drink juice. This is like pure sugar. Oh, this is so unhealthy. Juice. All the this orange juice and pineapple juice. You know why? Why is it unhealthy? Because it's processed. You know, it's been put through a machine and the machine did all the work, left you with just the sugar. So um, get the juice out of your diet. Just drink like seltzer and water and, help, you know, herbal tea or whatever, but um, don't, don't drink juice. And for breakfast, no breakfast cereal. No breakfast cereal is healthy, you know. They are, they're really high in carbohydrates. You know, these, a serving is gonna be like 30 grams of carbohydrates. You know, and that's your entire carbohydrate load in a day should be maybe 50 grams of carbohydrate if you're overweight or a diabetic, you know, or you have heart disease. You know, so you're almost getting to your entire sugar load for the day just by eating one bowl of cereal. So that's a problem, the sugar load of sh cereal. You know, it's, they're all grains, so they're high in omega-6. You know, that's going to change your ability to metabolize sugar. I mean, the definition of metabolic syndrome is the inability to process sugar. Uh, so the glycemic index of foods is higher for you if you eat omega-6. So, um, you know, that's another problem. That includes hot cereal, like oatmeal. Um, you know, oh, it has fiber in it. You know, not really, you know, not compared to vegetables. <laughs> You know, fruit, like have some, why don't you have some cantaloupe for breakfast if you feel like eating something sweet, you know? Cantaloupe is uh, not processed. And, uh, you know, look at the glycemic load of food. You know, the starch is a long, long chain of sugar and it takes your body hours to get rid of it. Um, if you look at the glycemic load of, say, watermelon, for example, um, it, the glycemic index is high, 71, but if you look at the glycemic load, which is, you know, how your body processes the sugar, watermelon is, you know, right in the name, it's all water. 
so you, you can't get at the sugar. So the glycemic load of watermelon is three, and the glycemic index of cereal is um, something like, I don't know, it's, 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 it's uh, many times higher. So it's just, your body can't process this sugar. When I was a kid in the 60s, we were raised on sugar. We ate nothing but sugar. We had Cap'n Crunch uh, sugar cereal, which was like eating candy with milk, which is candy. And then for lunch, we had bread with jelly on it, which is candy, sugar. And then for dinner, we had sugar. We ate fish sticks that were thickly coated in bread, sugary bread with sugary tartar sauce on it. It was all sugar, so uh, it was so delicious. And we'd have noodles which is pure sugar. So we ate sugar for dinner. And then after dinner, we'd have sugar. We'd have like cookies or something, you know? So it's all day sugar. And, and when someone gave us a dollar, we ran to the store to get candy, you know? And this is what I would buy, funny bones. So I, I am addicted to sugar. So I, I can't have this in the house because if I have this in the house, I'll eat, I'll eat the whole box. So, um, you know, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Okay, now I'm in the cookie and cracker aisle. Wow, there's a lot of cookies and crackers. Um, cookies and crackers are not on the harvest diet. You cannot harvest crackers. Uh, they're, again, uh, made from grains. So, um, you know, eat healthy snacks, uh, like the, the fruit I showed you, you know, or some nuts, mixed nuts are healthy. Uh, try to pick nuts that are lower in sodium if you can. 100 calorie nuts are great. Those are good snacks. You know something funny? I'm going to tell you a secret. This is actually pretty good. Like you wouldn't think it. This is whipped cream. But look at, look at the calories. 15 calories. Holy smokes. Because it's really just air. And look at the number of carbohydrates in it. <laughs> it's got one gram of carbohydrates. So it's really like almost sugar free. And get this real cream, you know. So it's not many ingredients in it. But uh, put, put whipped cream on like strawberries. Oh, that's delicious. You know, chop up some strawberries and then, um, this is good. In your coffee, uh, put half and half. You know, it's lower in sugar. It's got a lot of calories though for a little bit of thing. Uh, you know, oh, two tablespoons. Oh my gosh, nobody puts that much in their coffee. Um, but half and half is lower in sugar than milk. As a matter of fact, when you're an adult, even when you're like a teenager, stop drinking milk. It's, it's so high in sugar. No one should be drinking milk if you're an adult. These are these are very good for breakfast. This is um, cottage cheese, uh, two percent cottage, two percent uh, milk fat. Uh, this is only hundred calories, so this is a good breakfast. Just eat one of these for breakfast. This is yogurt, so I am going to give a promotion to a brand. <laughs> um, this is phage. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is this is the best yogurt I think. Uh, I like the two percent milk fat. You know, your brain is fat, so you do need some fat. Your whole body's made out of fat, really, you know. So a little bit of fat isn't bad. Because at 2% milk fat, you're only getting 120 calories. So you could eat, um, you know, half a cup of this yogurt. And this is the plain yogurt. You know, it doesn't have any sugar in it. Uh, and just put some strawberries in it or blueberries. Um, I like to eat this yogurt, yogurt with pepita seeds. Um, that's green pumpkin seeds, uh, just like a half a, you know, like a teaspoon of pepita seeds. They're kind of salty and they taste good in the sweet yogurt. So I, I like this yogurt a lot. This is a very good breakfast. So the cottage cheese, the yogurt, um, one hard-boiled egg for breakfast. You know, if you can get away with eating so little, it, that's a good breakfast. Okay, now if you're going to make your pasta out of noodles, um, Please do me a favor and pick uh, tomatoes like this for your sauce. So this is uh, crushed tomatoes and it has some spices in it, some basil and some salt. Uh, look at the calories on this, <laughs> 15 calories, you know. So this, this is really good. Make your sauce out of this, you know, and put like the shrimp I showed you or uh, maybe some, um, you know, uh, beef that's low in fat. Try not to pick these sauces because these sauces have sugar in them. So where the can of tomatoes I just showed you had three ingredients, one was basil. You know. um, these usually have a lot more ingredients in them. So I don't need to pick anybody out, but this has like 20 ingredients and you know, it's, it's probably got sugar in it. Yeah, see here, it has sugar, so it's cane sugar, so you know pasta with sugar on it. 
pasta with sugar sauce. You know, sugar with sugar sauce on top. It's like from the movie Elf where he's eating like spaghetti with maple syrup, you know, like, oh, don't do it. You know, I could be crazy, but I think I remember like 30 years ago, the vegetable, frozen vegetable aisle was really big. Now it's so tiny. It's really, like, if you look really quick, look, it's just, you know, French fries and unhealthy breakfast foods and bagels and juice and, and cake, you know. And the vegetable section, look at how small it is. <laughs> like, uh, didn't the frozen vegetable section used to be a lot bigger, I think? But anyway, so, um, but I recommend frozen vegetables. They don't go bad. You don't have to clean them. You know, you just, you're basically rehydrating them. So put them in a pan under a low heat and let, let them sit there for like a half an hour. You know, you, you, you just have to re rehydrate them. You don't really have to cook them. So, you know. So buy, you know, like food like this. This is good. This cooks in the bag. This is this is really good. You know, or green beans. Oh no, that's peas. But beans and this this is good. You know, look. You know, 30 calories a serving. You know, this is really good. Okay, here you see some um, healthy frozen vegetables. This is spaghetti squash. And just yesterday, I was making a spaghetti squash and I couldn't cut it. So I had to have Nick come in, like, and, he, and even he's like hacking so dangerously, hacking up this spaghetti squash. So look at this, this is really easy to cook. Um, 25 calories a serving. So the, uh, five grams of carbohydrate. So this is good, spaghetti squash. Um, zucchini pasta. How easy would it be to cook this up, you know, instead of making spaghetti? This is really good for you. Look, two grams of carbs per serving. See, 90% fewer calories in pasta. Hello, winner. You know, please buy that. Buy that. That's really good. Um, cauliflower. Let's look at this. That's got bacon in it. Ah, bacon's pretty heavy in calorie. Let's look at this one. Okay, eat the whole thing. It's 150 calories. So that's pretty good. Mashed cauliflower. This looks good. These, these are kind of, in my opinion, this is a, a little bit more priced, like $4. It's kind of pricey. Oh, here's cauliflower with broccoli. Rice veggies. Eat this instead of rice. Rice is a grain. Rice has omega-6, you know, unhealthy fat in it. This has no unhealthy fat in it. You know, this is this is vegetable. 20 calories. So eat this instead of rice. Cauliflower rice. Ah, look at this. This is good. This tastes this tastes better than rice, too, you know? Definitely buy some frozen vegetables, you know. Make sure you have frozen vegetables in your freezer. Just you get home and you're like, oh, let me just order a pizza. And they say, ah, wait. You know, Dr. Jansen's gonna nag me when I go see her. So, you know, and then try to rethink that just just really quickly and say to yourself, you know, hey, I got some frozen tilapia or some frozen shrimp in the freezer and you know, a big bag of frozen vegetables. Well, you could make something up with that. You know, add just a little bit of olive oil or, you know, a little bit of butter. That couldn't hurt you, you know, and try to cook yourself a healthy dinner and avoid, uh, call, you know, calling for Domino's. Uh, you know, and, and pizza delivered is not cheap anymore. It's like $70 for, you know, two people to eat pizza. So it's, it's expensive. And I, I do like beans. I think beans are really healthy. So you could put beans in soups or salads. Um, you could just open it up. You don't have to cook it. Um, a serving of beans is 120 calories, so that's good. But it has a lot of fiber in it. So you really have to think more in terms of uh, glycemic indexes. Um, if it has a lot of fiber, your body really can't get the sugar out of it. So. That's good. That's healthy. So for and for let's talk about lunch. So why don't you have uh, that entire bag of salad? Remember I showed it to you and it was like I forgot like 35 calories in it. Uh, and then put in a, a can of tuna. You know, like I don't know. Yeah, this 
This is tuna in water, so this is good because it's low in fat. And uh, it's not expensive. This is $2.19. So it's $2. So this would be enough for like two people to have a nice lunch. You know, put in a little bit of olive oil would taste good. Lemon juice. You know, make sure you have those lemons in the little plastic lemon. Uh, those things are great. I think it says zero for calories on those, those little containers of lemon juice. So, you know, some lemon juice, uh, half a can of tuna. And I know people say, oh, the tuna's in a can or tuna is going to kill... Uh, flipper the dolphin and you know but like I said it's a war out there and we're, we're on the Titanic you know and you're quibbling about having a blue napkin versus a red napkin or whatever um, you know that's you're missing the big picture the big picture is you know it's very hard to take care of yourself by eating right it is not easy so please let's make your life easy and pick things that are not expensive they're really good for you, and you fill your diet with uh, food that's healthy for you. That's, uh, that's what I want you to think about. Look at this. This is good. Salmon, wild caught, in a can, you know. Ooh, Ten bucks, but, you know, it's a lot of salmon. But it's a lot of, it's, you know, it's heavy. You can make a few meals out of it, you know. So by meal, by, it says five servings in a can. You know, so it's like $2 a serving. It's really not expensive. So in conclusion, the Jansen Harvest Diet is about eating foods that you harvest at a farm. So eggs and uh, yogurt, uh, vegetables, uh, meat, se seafood too. Things that you would, you know, that a farmer would make. Whole foods, broccoli, spinach, you know. Uh, not foods with 10 ingredients processed, you know, foods made in a factory uh, with machines, you know, try to avoid foods like that. So multi-ingredient foods, try to avoid that. And the other part of the uh, Jansen Harvest Diet is try to decrease the amount of sugar that you're eating. Uh, and that's measured by something called glycemic load. I'm going to write a blog article to explain it. So. But basically, you want to keep your insulin levels down, uh, produce, ha have to produce as little insulin as possible in your day. Uh, and another thing is uh, try to eat a lower calorie diet. Uh, it's so easy for those calories to add up. Um, you know, I think about 50% of Americans are overweight. Uh, obesity is an epidemic in the United States. So try to watch your calories. Look, look at foods like I showed you in the video. You know, look at the calories and also look at the amount of servings in the package. Uh, for example, I showed you uh, lettuce was 35 uh, calories, but it was for the entire bag of lettuce. So, you know, keep, keep that in mind as well. So look at the calories, uh, whole food calories, and try to avoid grains because grains have omega-6. Try to get that out of your diet. It's extremely unhealthy. It causes metabolic syndrome. And metabolic syndrome causes cancer, heart disease, diabetes, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, metabolic syndrome, you know, you could, you could write a book on that. So just get simply, get the omega-6 out of your diet. Get the grains out of your diet. Um, so that's, that's it in a nutshell. So uh, happy fall, everybody.